Now, activity overall should be winding down this evening, but we could see some lingering storms. Now, as we head into your Sunday, moisture will be increasing, so slightly higher rain chances. Palm Beach County mainly dry, but we are tracking a little activity inland, so we're watching that right now. Just rain, no lightning at this point. We started the day beautiful from Vero Beach. Lots of sunshine there. Uh, things have been changing, though, as our camera is facing west. A beautiful blue sky giving way to some dark clouds now out there looking a little ominous and as some of the storms that we're tracking uh, inland locations. Now, want to show you this really cool weather uh, spotter photo from Fred Brandt. These are Atlantic spotted dolphins, and he caught that from the, his boat. So beautiful. Uh, John Wakeman, he was at the Stewart Sand Bar today having some fun out there and Mullen captured uh, somebody on a paddle board with a little kid and that looks like a lot of fun and then a nice beach picture so it was lovely another hot one today uh, Vero Beach made it up all the way to 95 degrees their average for the time of year is 91 and their morning low was 73 West Palm Beach not quite as hot but still steamy enough 93 our average is 90 degrees current temps right now you can see a uh, little rain cooled air places like Fort Pierce, Vero Beach, Indian Town, upper 80s. But look to the south. Wellington, right now 97 degrees. That's the actual air temperature. So feels like temperatures still in the triple digits. If you're headed out on this Saturday evening, temperatures will be in the mid range of the 80s. Uh, partly cloudy, warm, and muggy. The storms mainly staying inland through the remainder of your Saturday evening. Now, let's go ahead and show you. The models do want to indicate a little more activity inland West Palm Beach, but things kind of quiet down overnight. Then on Sunday, we start dry in the morning, but look at what happens. By 7 p.m., we're tracking some heavy activity across the area, and it looks to linger into your later Sunday evening. So again, higher rain chances late Sunday, the first of half of Sunday looking pretty good for all of your outdoor activities. Now in the tropics, we are tracking a uh, area of a low pressure that in time could interact with a tropical wave as it moves toward the Lesser Antilles. Right now, only a 30 percent chance of developing in the next seven days. We have a long time to watch it. If it does develop, then we'll let you know uh, if there is any chance that we could see any impacts from this system. But right now, that's the only thing we're watching in the tropics. And uh, we do have some more moisture moving in Sunday into Monday into Tuesday, but then some drier air Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. So a little bit of everything. Tonight, temperatures dropping down to 81 degrees, mainly dry and muggy. Then tomorrow, hot, steamy, 93, mainly inland storms, but slightly higher rain chances at the coast too. Beautiful boating, seas only one to two feet, inland waters a light chop. And here's a look at your seven day forecast. High temperatures staying near average for this time of year. Now check out the rain chances. Uh, tomorrow we'll keep it at 40% inland. I'd go up to 50% and the Treasure Coast. Now Monday, our wettest day, 60% chance of scattered storms. Tuesday, a 50% chance, but notice what happens. The Second half of the work week, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, more isolated storms, only about a 20 to 30 percent chance. And then rain chances look to increase as we head into next weekend.